How to send STL files to the printer? You click here, you select the file, you click open, and you click slice. Then you click view. Now you can use uh, arrows right and left to look at the layers. In the light green we have the rough support and in the dark green we have the um, fine support. And the same thing for the, for the iron powder. So we look and we make sure everything looks good. This is the end of the part. So this is uh, layer 41. It's the, the last layer of the part. It's 12.3 uh, millimeters tall, the part. So the next layer is the runner. So the size of the runner is set in the settings. Let me show you. Oh, actually. Now I can go to the settings because I already sliced it. I need to close the program and open it again. So connect, go to the settings, slicer. So constrict the runner. If we don't constrict the runner, disable it. Then the part would be uh, so. Then, then the runner would be just as big as the upper layer of the part, which is usually a bad idea. So most of the time, you'd have to have a runner uh, smaller. You have to constrict the size of the runner. And the runner is square, and the side uh, of uh, the runner is set to three millimeters. If you have a, a high quality infill metal and the powder, you can use uh, thinner runners. If you have a bad, uh, like not so good uh, purity of the filler metal and the powder, then you might want to set them, set the runners a little bit thicker, and. Uh, I guess you'll find out experimentally soon enough how good uh, the runners, but three or four millimeters probably would be a good, uh, good place to start. With copper, it looks like you can get away with the thinner runners. So the thinner the runners, the easier it is to cut them off or break them off. So the thinner the runners, the less metal you waste. So you click save if you change anything uh, and exit. Oh, another thing, L object layer thickness is the thickness of the layer with which your object is printed. Auxiliary layer thickness is, I think it's the thickness of the rag layers, those two sand layers that you pour on the bottom before you start printing your actual part. Uh, I'll show you the rag layers. And, uh, the fat snake rarity. The fat snakes are not poured every layer, or oh, can be not poured every layer, because it doesn't make, make any sense to pour them every layer, you just waste time. So you can set them to pour like every other layer, so you set it to two. So click save, exit, and um, let's maybe ah, it's okay so we slice it again with you so this is the first layer which is rug it's just uh, sent underneath the part it's not the part it's not part of the object you're trying to print yet and the next layer is also the rug layer but this the first one is uh, a rough rug layer 
and the next one is the fine rug layer and the third layer is actually the first part of your first layer of your object so those lines uh, we call them snakes because snake has a head and it uh, wraps around and ends here this is the snake tail so those light green ones they're called fat snakes and those dark greens they're called um, skinny <laughs> snakes or thin snakes so and note that the, uh, the fat snakes we don't pour every layer because so layer 2 we have it layer 3 we don't layer 4 we have it again so we just save time because um, all it matters is the border we just can't make the those parts port too high without falling so that's why once in a while we do need the fat uh, snake so we go all, uh, all the way so this is still part of the object okay so here is the first layer of the runner and note that the runner does not have the skinny snake around it because we don't want it to be we don't need it to be very uh, smooth so this is a very small part and a very large crucible so we basically waste all of this space we can put more than one part and I'll show it how to do it in another video so it goes like this goes like this all the way to the top except the very last layer the very last layer is the collector it's a thin layer actually it's an auxiliary layer thickness which is in this case 0 0.5 millimeters so the purpose of the auxiliary uh, the collector is to collect the molten uh, infill metal so if you if you'd be like if your runner would be here and you place your uh, infill metal and it will, will not touch it so it might not actually go there uh, might not touch it oh it, it might so we might try to use uh, uh, so if you have a flat pancake and it touches the the runner we may get away without the, um, the collector that's something to experiment in the future but if you have like irregular shape pieces of uh, copper or another infill metal and you have a large collector you can place them anywhere here and yeah, you'll be good so now you have uh, sliced everything and viewed uh, you can send it to the printer so in this case actually uh, I had a previous run and I paused it so it shows uh, the last position but I dumped the powder out so I can't continue it so I click expert mode and I click uh, home and it goes to the very first line and I check uncheck the expert uh, not to mess anything up accidentally so I click step the pour off and I look at the printer and make sure it can move and yeah nothing is uh, restricting its motion so yeah I click uh, actually I can click uh, uh, probably I can click run and it will start uh, moving it so it's now started to home and in this screen you see the log so if something goes wrong sometimes you can get some useful information from uh, this log screen so this is it it's printing it to take uh, a while <laughs> depends on the size of your object it may take like 20 24 or even longer 24 hours or even longer you can pause it and what it does it doesn't pause the printer immediately it uh, stops sending the new commands but it already sent like if you already 
So, in theory, you can um, uh, shut down the computer and uh, the printer and then home it and resume it later, but that's a little bit tricky. Uh, so, for now, in the beginning, just uh, try not to uh, shut down the computer, not to lose the position, because if you pause it, Especially if you post while the pour is not engaged, while it's not actively pouring, then you can uh, resume it later and uh, it should keep printing.